Is our reality a simulation? An actual matrix? Can we finally prove there's life after death? And what about this alien UFO thing, really? There's a lot of cool, smart people working on this stuff, and I'm talking to them. Let's take the time to really explore bigger questions. We're here at the Sedona Creative Life Center, and this was the Sedona screening of the new movie, Connected Universe, with Nassim Haramein. Nassim, fantastic film. Thanks for taking a moment. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here in Sedona. It's been such a long time, and it was great to be able to present the movie from by Malcolm Carter. did an awesome job, so I'm pretty excited to be touring with it. So... You know, there's a lot of people in the past that have attempted to tie everything together. The advances in physics that are giving us new understandings of the universe, the metaphysical aspect of it, how our thoughts affect our reality, mm -hmm. and then, you know, the cutting-edge science really helps us to blend physics with what we know to be real on, a, on an ethereal and spiritual level. Mm -hmm. And this film comes as close as anybody to accomplishing that. How does that feel? Uh, it's, uh, it's exciting. Um, you know, I think there's so much more to do, but it's definitely the first step, I think, in understanding a fundamental relationship between particles and matter and, um, you know, and, and stellar objects. Um, and so, it, and, 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 you know, we kind of are in between the two, you know, we're made out of matter, but we're larger than, than atoms and, and molecules. So, um, it, when you unify the two, you can't do anything else than unify what's in the middle with it, which is, you know, the consciousness gets involved and biology and all this stuff. So all of a sudden, you know, you're not just unifying physics, but you're unifying like very deep level of, of biology and understanding of of awareness and consciousness and and self-organization system and all this stuff so it has really deep implications so i'm excited to like explore all these other things uh, as we move forward you know your presentation in the film and even more here in person live was really laced with a lot of humor like when you were describing the strong field and why they couldn't get it to work and you right. said well hey why don't you just consider that maybe it's wrong right. you know so why do you think it took them so long to, to consider that maybe it's wrong um well it's because it, it there is formalism in the physics in the mathematics uh, of the current physics theories that didn't allow for any other option so so it's it's been like instead of you know this is something we do often is we we start on a path and we invest a lot of time and energy on this path and then we're not necessarily willing to reconsider um, you know a different path uh, after having spent so much time and energy in certain direction so so in order for them to consider something else they had to be a different formalism that made um, different choices earlier in the evolution of the theories, uh, meaning that, you know, basically some of these assumptions that were made early in the development of the current theories may have not been absolutely correct. And by making different assumptions and writing different formalism, you arrive to different conclusions. Then you can realize that, oh, actually you're dealing with mini black holes and, you know, these mini black holes have a very strong attractive force and it's not some strange strong force but it's actually gravity working at the quantum level one thing that I was really excited about and I found very interesting is that you are publishing more you're taking your theory into different fields of science more and looking at publishing there and you've even got some peer review going on um, what are the rumblings among the scientific community about maybe moving towards a more acceptance of the direction you're going in 
Um, in general, you know, we're kind of standing right on the knife edge right now. The scientific community, uh, the professors, um, well, you know, they get bombarded from the students with my papers and videos and all this stuff. But um, a lot of uh, interest and, you know, a lot of really exciting collaboration are occurring because people are contacting us saying, hey, you know, I think you've got something and I'd like to participate and I thought about this or I thought about that. So that's really exciting. But uh, the academic structure has not yet uh, come to full acceptance of some of the stuff I'm doing. And so um, you, there's repercussion, there's negative repercussion to the people that uh, attempt to collaborate with us. So it's been difficult for people to uh, publicly endorse what I've been doing, but there is still amazing collaborations that are going on in the background and some more papers and some more uh, laboratory tests that we're working on and, and so on. So uh, actually it's really exciting and it, it, you can see it's moving in the right direction. I don't think that a lot of people realize that academia and the scientific community are almost as rough and tumble a crowd as the political crowd. It's like science is a contact sport, especially when you're right out there on the cutting edge. How are you holding up with all that? Um, it's been a long journey for me. Um, you know, uh, it, it took me a while to not take it personally and not feel, you know, somewhat destroyed by you know what was sent i mean some of it was pretty i mean i got mooned in physics conference i mean all sorts of things but um you know it being being what it is um I, there, there's a level at at one point where i understood you know that uh it's understandable it's 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 okay it, it, it you know people has invested their whole life in a certain view they're not gonna just drop it overnight because some young guy came up with something new you know um that's when i was younger right um so it, it takes time it takes time for people to consider it it takes time for people to like you know kind of see how it feels you know before they jump um so but it's happening and that's what's important and i'm i'm getting better at not taking it personally so we're gonna let people see the trailer right now if you don't mind okay keeps me going, this transformation I can see when a person realizes that they're connected to everything and that they matter in the universe. We experience this life and most people don't ask, like, how did I get here? What is this life? How am I moving trillions of atoms around? 
We often hear the concept, everything is connected, it's all one. For many people, it resonates as something true. But how is that true? Some of the work I've been doing starts to open the door to understanding how everything is connected. Everything we experience as reality is actually made up of 99.99999% space. So maybe instead of looking at matter, defining the space, I start to think maybe it's space that defines matter. When I look carefully at the natural world, I found this interconnectivity of all things. And I started to wonder, what is the source of this self-organizing system? So again, my congratulations on a fantastic piece of filmmaking. It's a visually stunning film. Who would you like to thank on the film? Oh, um, I, of course, Michael Carter did an amazing job. And I would like to thank all the people that supported us in the campaign, in the funding campaign we did to, to make this film happen. We did with duct tape and shoelaces and a lot of sweat equity. Um, uh, you know, um, all the people that helped finance it um, and certainly, you know, the, um, the dedication of uh, of uh, Malcolm Carter uh, spending thousands and thousands of hours, you know, uh, without support, um, editing and putting it together. I think uh, there was uh, amazing work that was done as well on the music and and all the animations. Um, you know, I don't know the names of all the people involved, but of course, uh, I would like to thank everybody that was involved in making this happen. I think it's it's an amazing uh, um, opportunity for people to get new concepts and um, you know discuss it and think about it and uh, see how it feels and and see where it leads uh, leads you and then email us and tell us where you got and uh, and what you think. You know, no matter where you are in your scientific understanding of physics or just your spiritual understanding, this film speaks to all of those just enough so that nobody leaves unsatisfied. Mm -hmm. It covers enough of the science so that people that have a real understanding of physics can say, okay, yeah, I get that. Mm -hmm. But it also touches on a heart level and people that don't really have a scientific understanding can get something out of this film and leave really feeling transformed. And that was another major accomplishment that you pulled off with it. Where Thank can you. people see the film? Uh, so people can download the film on Vimeo or, or they can go to uh, the um, Resonance Science Foundation and um, and download the film there as well and um, you know thank you for that uh, that was a big effort for us to um, you know we had a lot of discussion Malcolm and I over the three years of the making of the movie on trying to find that balance between the science and the philosophy um, so that it was it, there was something for everybody in there and um, you know we didn't want it just to be a scientific movie or just a philosophical movie we wanted to blend the two because that's what's necessary at this time so so I think we we achieved that balance the best we could and um, and it was it was hard but yeah people can get it on Vimeo or at the Resonance Science Foundation uh, which is resonance.is resonance is and um, and then they can 
uh, as well uh, get involved in the delegate program that we have there where people can actually dig as deep as they want in the physics or the philosophy or the ancient civilization and so on. And we have like 72 countries participating with students from all around the world taking this course. And it, it's good for anybody. You don't have to be scientific uh, or anything else, uh, you, you know. And it's cool because you can take it at the speed you want. You know, you can do it at your own rhythm, rhythm. And every month for two hours, I answer questions and people get to connect with people from all around the world. So it's pretty exciting. So that's really a way for people that want to follow your work to get closer to you and actually have interaction with you, which is unusual uh, in academia and where people get big advances, they get further away from the people that want to learn from them. So you're still accessible. Oh yeah, that's really important for me. I think, you know, uh, I first of all, I enjoy very much um, interacting with the public, but as well, um, you know, it's inspiring the questions that people ask and the thinking that goes on. And, um, and um, you know, from the interaction with people, um, then uh, we can all grow, you know, so like I'm learning, they're learning, everybody's learning, and we're all growing together. So it, it's really important for me not to lose touch with the public. Bridging the gap between science and spirituality is to me a human necessity. And again, congratulations for taking us a step further in that direction. Thank you, I appreciate it. I mean, it, 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 we had so much stuff we wanted to pack in there, and we had to cut so much out, you know. Um, hopefully we'll come up with more and more special features that people will have access to with some of the stuff we cut out. But um, this, but we, we packed a lot in there, and everybody that's seen the the movie more than once all say you have to see that movie more than once because when you see it the first time you get a certain layer but when you see it the second time you get another layer and third time again um, because we had to imply a lot of things just because we didn't have to have time to address them directly so there's a lot of you know underlying information that you get only when you see the movie a few times Again, the film is Connected Universe. It's a must-see for anybody on a spiritual or scientific journey. And Nassim, thanks again. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye.